In this video, we'll convert moles of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate to grams. So we have 0.62 moles of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. This is just a number I made up for the problem. And we want to convert that to grams. So if we're given moles and we want to convert that to grams, we're going to multiply by the molar mass. And we find the molar mass by adding up the masses of all of the atoms here. This is a little bit more complicated because we have this dot 5H2O. So to find the molar mass, we find the molar mass for copper sulfate, and then we have five water molecules. So we find a water molecule, molar mass for the water molecule, and we multiply it by five. If you need help finding the molar mass for CuSO4 dot 5H2O, there's a link in the description of this video to help you do that. So for the molar mass of this copper 2-sulfate pentahydrate, we end up with 249.72 grams per mole. So moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. When we multiply by the molar mass, we have moles on top and the bottom. They cancel out, we're left with grams, and that's what we're looking for. That gives us 154.83 grams of copper 2-sulfate pentahydrate. So again, we had our moles, we multiplied by the molar mass, to convert that to grams. And we made sure that moles canceled out, so we ended up with grams. If you were given grams and asked to find moles, you'd have your grams and you'd divide by the molar mass to get moles. This is Dr. B converting moles of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, CuSO4.5H2O, to grams. Thanks for watching.